The United States has vowed to maintain a strong nuclear and conventional force to counter increased global security threats, including North Korea. Washington's defense chief says the U.S. prefers diplomatic solutions, but it needs to project strength to maintain peace. Kim Yeonbin reports. U.S. Secretary of Defense James Mattis told the Senate Appropriation Committee on Wednesday that Washington needs to secure a nuclear deterrent and a strong conventional force to better counter North Korea's reckless rhetoric and provocations. Mattis also expressed concern about North Korea's proliferation activities, saying the regime's nuclear ambitions are unsettling the region. The U.S. Defense Chief insisted that Washington prefers diplomatic solutions, but stressed the military's role is to ensure the United States negotiates from a position of strength and sets the conditions for diplomatic progress. On a related note, South Korea and the U.S. will end their two-week-long computer simulation key resolve exercise on Thursday. The Allies will evaluate the exercise on Friday. Some 13-thousand troops took part this year, a sharp increase from the 10-thousand involved last year. This year's key resolve focused on targeting North Korea's key facilities, including its nuclear and missile infrastructure. The first week was focused on defense, and the final week was on offensive measures. Military officials say the missile defense exercise took into account the soon-to-be-deployed THAAD battery, as well as other defensive and offensive missile systems. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.